Hello everyone, this is Patty Behan and thanks for watching today. In this video we're going to make this beautiful slimline card using Simon Hurley's slimline peel apart background stamp, some pigment ink, embossing powder, liquid pearls by Wendy Vecchi, and so let's get started. To begin, I'm going to use these brand new slimline background stamps and they have little pieces that you can peel apart or you could stamp it all at once which is what we're going to do today. So to start, this is the size of the card that we're going to make. When it's closed it's three and a half by eight and a half and this is what it looks like when it's open so it's seven inches across and again it's eight and a half inches long and I'm going to show you how to cut that from an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock right here. I'm using Simon Hurley's stark white cardstock. It's a nice um, 110 pound cardstock and I'm going to trim it down to seven inches on the 11 inch side and then we'll have a nice extra piece that can be used to make another slimline card front or in this case we're going to do some more stamping on that. And now what you want to do is score this in half and to do that I like to use my paper trimmer here and I'll put this side at three and a half inches. I'll close the paper holder here and I'm going to grab a Wendy Vecchi stylus and I'm going to run a score line using the trimmer here as my guide and I'll go a couple times and once that's done you'll see you have um, our score line here and then on the other side you have the score line that sticks out a little bit. This is where you want to fold the card. It's best to fold it at the raised score line versus the other side. And then just, I put it against the trimmer here so that I get a nice straight edge and I give it a good crease. I'm going to move this out of the way a second. And I wanna get a sharper crease so I'm going to take a craft scraper and then I'm going to grab a piece of paper to protect the edge and I'm just going to take the scraper and give it a good crease here. Turn it over and do it on that side as well. And now we have a nice sharp crease and we're ready to stamp. So I'm using the Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station here and I'm going to open the card to the card front and place the magnets down to hold this in place. And I'm going to just adjust that a second and we're going to use the whole stamp. And first I'm just going to place it where I want on the card, like so. And then I'm going to use my stamp positioner over here to help me line up the stamp. So I'll go ahead and put it right there. This stamp positioner has nice heavy magnets so it's going to secure everything in place. I'm using the positioner so that when I go to stamp it won't slide over. I'll know exactly where I want to stamp it. And I'm going to take a dilution stamp block and place it on there. And now my stamp positioner is in place and so I'm going to ink it and then I'll be able to stamp exactly where I want the stamp to land. So let me get my Ranger Pigment ink pad. We're going to be embossing because we're painting. So I'm using pigment ink because it stays wet longer and it has this protective um, cover so that your ink pad doesn't dry out and I'm just going to ink up the stamp really well and then once that's done I'm going to line up the block with the stamp positioner and then 
firmly pressed down on the stamp. Make sure we get good coverage there. Lift it up and I'm going to go ahead and move everything off of the magnets and we're going to pour some embossing powder over top and I have a piece of scrap paper here that I'm putting down to catch the excess powder and I'm using Ranger's clear embossing powder and I'm going to sprinkle that over top and make sure I get it on there everywhere and shake off the excess and put that back in the jar and then I'm going to put this aside because I'm going to stamp some more images before I actually do the embossing. I'm going to stamp four more flowers because we're going to raise those up. So I'm using this stamp and I'll put this on the stamping block that came from the corner of the peel apart background stamp. And I'm going to ink this up and stamp it. I'll do this two times, inking in between, and then I'll pour some powder over top and put that back into the jar. And now I'm going to do it two more times. So you ink it between each stamping. And then again, pour the embossing powder over the top and put that back in the jar. And now we're ready to melt the embossing powder, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. It takes a second for the heat tool to heat up so it gets hot enough to melt the powder. And you can see the change of the color. It's getting darker as the embossing powder melts, if you can see the difference there. Okay, once that's done, this is what it looks like. You can see it's raised and shiny. Now then we can put this aside and I'm going to emboss this card. I'm gonna come back when this is done and we're gonna to begin to start painting. So here I have everything embossed and I'm going to be using Wendy Becky Liquid Pearls and I'm using the silicone matte as my palette. And the first color I'm using is Sunflower. I'm going to put little dots of paint on my mat here. And then we have Carnation Red. And then the next one is Orange Blossom. Then Prickly Pear. And then Cornflower Blue. And I have a number nine Ranger artist brush here and I'm going to go ahead and dip my brush in the water because liquid pearls can be used um, as a watercolor and they still have like a very pearlescent shine to them. So I'm going to color all the center of the flowers yellow and I'm not going to color these four flowers in because I'm going to color in the ones we embossed before. Here I'm going to use all the different colors, some yellow, the sunflower, and orange blossom, and then go back and put some yellow over top. And for some of the leaves we're going to do prickly pear. And now I'm going to mix the prickly pear and the cornflower blue to make a darker green for the rest of the leaves here. And I'll go ahead and paint those in. And also I want to let you know that you can use this paint full on and you don't have to add water. And I just want to show you the pearlescence of the paint here if you can see it. Over here, that's what that looks like. It's just a beautiful tropical look here. Now I'm going to cut out these flowers and then I'm going to come back and we're going to put this together. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is use this stamp set, Sentimental Flowers, and I'm going to get the Hello Friends sentiment and 
stage, we're going to stamp it on this square here that is two and a half inches long by one and a half inches wide. And again, we're going to take our black tie pigment ink pad and we'll ink up the stamp and then go ahead and stamp that right in the center here. Press down firmly, and there we go. We'll put that aside to let it dry a second. And now we're going to glue down our flowers. And uh, to do that, I'm going to use the Letter It Clear Foam Tape. I've already done some of them, but let me go ahead and do this one. You're just gonna trim off little pieces and put the foam clear tape on all the petals here. And then once you do that, you take off the liner paper to place it on this flower right here. And then I've already put the liner tape on the rest of these. And if you'll notice, I left some of the leaves on and some I cut off. And then we're gonna glue the Hello Friend down there with the letter at double stick tape and then place it like so. And let me bring this up and show you how that looks so far. And you can see the dimension there and the shiny pearlescence of the card. And now we have one more thing to do. We're going to put some little dots of liquid pearls in the center of the flowers. And I'm using sunflower and then some orange blossom. I'll just put little dots of paint there and I'm using the larger Wendy Vecchi Make Art Stylus. And I'm just going to dot some color into the center of these flowers. We have a close up here so that you can see what I'm doing. This just gives it a little extra accent and the dots will dry raised. Wipe that off and we'll add the orange blossom over here. And we're going to do this to all of the flowers. I'll hold it up so you can see it closer, like so. And I'll finish this up. And then I think that'll do it. You have this beautiful card with a pearlescent shine and your friend would love to receive this. We have a link in the description box below to the full supply list. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.